Hello friends, thank you for joining me for reading today. Today we're going to read a story called A Lost Button. So this is a frog and toad story from the book Frog and Toad Are Friends. Frog and toad stories are probably my very favorite stories to read. So I hope you like this story as much as I do. So in this story, Toad is, lose, is going to lose a button off of his jacket. And um, I want you to think about how we are going to classify and categorize the buttons as Toad tries to find his. Toad and Frog went for a long walk. They walked across a large meadow. They walked in the woods. They walked along the river. At last, they went back home to Toad's house. Oh, drat, said Toad. Not only do my feet hurt, but I have lost one of the buttons on my jacket. Don't worry, said Frog. We will go back to all the places where we walked. We will soon find your button. They walked back to the large meadow. They began to look for the button in the tall grass. Here is your button, cried Frog. That is not my button, said Toad. That button is black. My button was white. Toad put the black button in his pocket. So here's Toad talking about that black button. Frog's gonna put that in his pocket. A sparrow flew down. Excuse me, said the sparrow. Did you lose a button? I found one. That is not my button, said Toad. That button has two holes. My button had four holes. Toad put the button with two holes in his pocket. They went back to the woods and looked on the dark paths. Here is your button, said Frog. That is not my button, cried Toad. That button is small. My button was big. Toad put the small button in his pocket. So he's collecting all of these different buttons that he's finding. A raccoon came out from behind a tree. I heard that you were looking for a button, he said. Here is one that I just found. That is not my button, wailed Toad. That button is square. My button was round. Toad put the square button in his pocket. Frog and Toad went back to the river. They looked for the button in the mud. Here's your button, said Frog. That is not my button, shouted Toad. That button is thin. My button was thick. Toad put the thin button in his pocket. He was very angry. He jumped up and down and screamed. The whole world is covered with buttons and not one of them is mine. Toad ran home and slammed the door. There, on the floor, he saw his white, four-holed, big, round, thick button. Oh, said Toad, it was here all the time. What a lot of trouble I have made for Frog. Toad took all of the buttons out of his pocket. He took his sewing box down from the shelf. Toad sewed the buttons all over his jacket. The next day, Toad gave his jacket to Frog. Frog thought that it was beautiful. He put it on and jumped for joy. None of the buttons fell off. Toad had sewed them on very well. So let's uh, meet the author here. The author's name is Arnold Lobel. He was often sick and missed many days of, days of school when he was young. When he went back to school, he made friends by telling stories and drawing pictures. Many years later, Lobel's children liked to catch frogs and toads. Lobel loved the animals and wrote about them in his frog and toad stories. So Arnold Lobel wanted to write about good friends. Um, so frog and toad, are very good friends. 
So what I would like you to do is just think about the ways that, uh, that Toad and Frog had classified those buttons, how all of those buttons that they found were different. And I'd like you to go through and read the story a second time at some point during the week. And you can turn the sound off and you can read it to yourself or you can read it to someone in your family, even a baby brother or sister. All right. Uh, enjoy your day, friends. Thank you.